chased you? <laughs> well, that's what he told me in the pub last night. Oh, poor Nick. He must have been dead embarrassed. At least Nick and Elsa want the child. What's Dolly going to do? Well, what do you think she should do? Have an abortion, I suppose. No, I don't think Dolly's the sort of woman who'd want to have an abortion. Maybe. But she might not have much choice at the moment. What would you do? I don't know. Thank heavens it's not my problem. No, I'm serious. Would you have an abortion? You mean if I became pregnant next week? Yeah. Man, if it was my child, I'd want to say. And would you want to say for the next 15, 20 years? What's that supposed to mean? Well, you're not the world's most reliable man. I want to know what your commitment would be. Oh, fair enough. Well, then, if you had my child, then it'd be mine for life. Hang on a minute. Are we discussing the prospect of us conceiving offspring? I was just being hypothetical. Oh, well, that's a relief. Trouble is, Dolly's gone a bit further than being hypothetical. And do you think Charlie Aindar will feel the same way as you? No, oh, I doubt it. No. So put yourself in Dolly's shoes. Her age, no husband, a child already, and Charlie Aindar as the father. What would you do, Jack? Morning. Oh, you've had your breakfast then? Yes, thank you. Um, Dolly? Him, not again. No, Please. no. I wanted to ask your advice, actually. Oh, really? Yeah, it's a bit difficult. I can't talk to Frank about it. Oh, I see. It's about Joe Subden. That letter from France, it was actually from Joe. He seems to want, well, you know. Joe? Are you sure you haven't got it wrong? No, I don't think so. He... Well, he tried to kiss me, and now this letter. What do you think? Well, I don't think it's anything to do with me. You do what you want. It's your choice, your decision, isn't it? Come on, in you go. Put your belt on. I thought I'd take Robert to school and then go into Skipdale. I need some new clothes and the sales are still on. And I can pick up Nick and Elsa's wedding present too. Yeah, fine. Any chance of a lift to school this morning? Well, if it's gone out an infant, it's no problem. Well, hot and compressed is not too far out of the way. And you wouldn't be returning me a favour. We don't owe you one, do we? Well, yeah. If it wasn't for me, you wouldn't know about the right of way in the council. What right of way? Well, this. It has come to the attention of the Highway Authority that footpath stroke bridle way number 131 in the parish of Beckendale with Connelton. He's obstructed on your land. Where's that? Well, it must be Philly Wood. Yeah, between Pencross Fell and Philly Wood. And if you don't clear it, the council will. Well, a let them, I say. Earn their poll tax. No one ever wants to go from Pencross Fell to Philly Wood. It's ridiculous. Mm. Hotton Council's very keen on encouraging people to use the footpaths. They've got maps in all the libraries. It says here that if the council have to clear it, they'll send us the bill, and it's got to be done by the 14th of February. Ah, oh, Valentine's Day. Well, they've only given us two days' notice. They can get stuffed. Well, actually, I think Joe got the letter quite a while ago. Opened it and then forgot about it. And he found it this morning, stuffed behind the clock. Yeah, well, the letter's dated just before Christmas. Oh, well, that's great. Sarah, about your trip to Skipdale. Yeah. Well, it was just a silly idea. Come on, if you want to lift. Hi. Nick, this is for you and Elsa. I hope you'll be very happy. Oh, thanks very much, Mrs Tate. <laughs> uh, we, we'll uh, open it later. How is Elsa? Oh, don't ask. Oh? Yeah, we had a false alarm the other day. I thought the baby was going to be born. Hospital now reckon it's going to go full term, or even be late. So she's bored? Yeah, just a bit. Going up the wall, she is. She can't wait for it to be born. Yeah, but if it had been born the other day, it would have rather messed up you making an honest woman of her. Yeah, just a bit. Well, you just remind her of that when you go home tonight. She won't want anything to spoil her wedding. No. No, no, 
Archie. I just want an ordinary phone, plain and simple. OK? Oh, Dolly, my dear. Ah, nice to see you. Can I get you a drink? Oh, no, thank you. Well, it's right if I go out through the back. I'm trying to avoid someone. Yes, yes, of course. Uh, what? Oh, uh, sorry, Henry. Alan said it was all right. Dolly? Dolly? That's all that, Brian. No idea. Wouldn't have happened when Abel's here, though, would it? Yeah. I thought I saw Dolly Skilbeck come in. Uh, no, no, I don't think she's been in for some time, has she, Archie? No, definitely not, no. Hey, you must have imagined it, Councillor. Can I get you a drink? Alan! I thought I saw Dolly Skilbeck. No, no, I, I don't think so. She woke me up, going through the back. Well, you must have been dreaming, Henry. You're not that desperate for land, are you? Apparently, there's supposed to be a bridal path through there. Oh, right, yeah, I've seen it marked on the map. Never been able to find it, though. Well, at least now you know where it should be. Thanks. This is all Joe's fault. Really? How? Well, he had the letter from the council ages ago, but he rushed off so quickly he couldn't be bothered to tell Jack or me. Yeah, it was a bit sudden, wasn't it? <laughs> One minute Beckendale, the next France. <laughs> Have you heard from him? Uh, well, the old postcard, nothing else. Oh, any idea when he's coming back? No. Why? Oh, just something he was going to do for me. Oh, no consideration, that's Joe's problem. He does what he wants without a second thought for the consequences. Half a lager. Didn't expect to see you back in here so soon. I want to put things right with Archie, Mr Wilkes. He's 28, but I still can't help worrying about him. Ah, uh, well. At least he's got a good roof over his head. And he'll be good company for Bill. Though Bill could probably have a bevy of dancing girls if he wanted, with his money. Money? Oh, my. Didn't Archie tell you? Flogged his farm a while back, made a small fortune. I don't think he spent a penny of it, just stuck it in the bank. Some people, eh? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing here? Nothing, Archie? No way to talk to your mother. Morning, Bill. Archie. A uh, bottle of brown and uh, apple juice for the lad, oh, Henry. Can I get anything here, bro? Oh, no, thanks, Bill. And let me get you a drink. Thank you for your hospitality the other night. Did you get home all right, pet? I was worried about you. You are thoughtful. <laughs> Archie's girlfriend's a very careful driver. She's not my girlfriend. Ah, uh, there you are, Archie. I hope this lot's going to work. Morning, Alan. <laughs> Morning, Miss Morgan. Did somebody flog you that for a portable phone, Mr Turner? You've been done. No. Steady drill, Bill. Uh, Archie is putting an extension oh. in my private... Uh, uh, our private quarters. Uh, you know, it prevents confidential phone calls being overheard. What if I don't want a phone ringing in my private quarters? Then you turn it off. Got a little button. Pity you haven't got a little button. Now, Bill, let me get these. <laughs> and tell me, how long have you lived in Yorkshire? Do they used to know that Paula Barker? You mean that veg yet? Thanks. Uh, is she a vegetarian? What about her? Oh, just wondered. Is she going out with anyone? Well, she's been out with most at first eleven already, and she? She's working her way through second, isn't oh, it? He's only having you on. What do you fancy her? You might do. Well, what are you going to do about her? Well, I don't know. Send her a valentine. It's a bit naff, isn't it? Yeah, it's a good laugh, though. Only trouble is, you can't sign it, so she won't know who it's from. Well, other ways of letting her know who it's from, but you wouldn't understand the subtlety. He couldn't even spell it, never mind understand it. No, are you going to send her one, then? We'll make sure it's ecologically sound. Just because she's a veggie doesn't mean she's a nutter. It's not what you say about your age, huh? Yeah, well, that's because she is a nutter. Paula's different. <laughs> Look at her. Look at her exhibition of herself again. She's enjoying herself. Why aren't you? Cos I want to know what she's up to. I haven't seen her for years, and all of a sudden she's in here twice a week, knowing that I've got 500 quid in a post office account. And has she asked for a penny of it? She's too clever for that. <laughs> well, if she is that clever, why is she making such a fuss of Bill Middleton? An unemployed cowman's hardly worth a while if she's the sort of woman you say. I don't know. That's why I've got to watch you. Oh, look, forget April for a while. Let's go and blow some of your 500 pounds on her. Nail in the pictures. Hey, we're not really going out with each other, you know. We just did that, so my mum wouldn't think that I would... You know. Well, fancy proving you're not, like tonight. 
You're worse than my mother, you, sometimes. Oh, and is it that much of a hardship, being my boyfriend? Didn't do Michael Feldman much good, did it? Unfair. So where are you going to take me, then? Huh? That's what all this attention's about, is it? You just want me for my money, don't you? Afternoon, Dolly. What do you want? We need to talk. Do we? I, I don't think so. I think so, Dolly. You've got something to tell me, haven't you? Have I? Don't play games. I've heard you're pregnant. Who told you? Never mind. Let's get one thing out of the way. This baby, is it mine? What do you think I am? A pregnant woman, Dolly. What I want to know is are you a desperate one? What's that supposed to mean? I'm a married man, a counsellor, a successful businessman, what you might call high profile. Now, the last thing I need is a scandal. Who better to be the father of your baby? I don't believe this. I'm sure there's plenty of women who treat something like this as Christmas. Well, not me, I can assure you. The thing is, we took precautions. I remember you made such a big deal about it, so how come you're pregnant? Oh, don't you think I haven't asked myself that a thousand times? Silly question. So, what do you want? Who says I want anything, Charlie? I assumed you were looking for maintenance for the child. Well, you assumed wrongly. I'm getting rid of it. What? You heard. There isn't going to be a baby. Oh, I see. Oh, well, that puts a different complexion on things altogether. I wouldn't be here, only Mrs Tate, she seemed okay. to think... Well, it's got nothing to do with her. I'm the one that's pregnant. My mind's made up. A very sensible decision. I must say, I'm most relieved. Oh, you do surprise me. Now, uh, of course, should you require any financial assistance with the operation? Oh, Charlie, I know please. a very good man at Skipdale Jail. Please, Charlie. You know, I'm, uh, I'm quite surprised by this determination of yours. You must have more in common with me than you thought. Go away, Charlie. <laughs> I'll put a cheque in the post. Yes, may I speak to Joe Sugden, please? Joe? It's Kim Tate. Now look. Yeah. I was watching this old film the other night. Had that old bloke from Rain Man in it. You, Tom Cruise? Nah. He's not old. The other one. Oh. Dustin Hoffman. It was about our age in the film, so he showed how old it were. Getting off with this old bird. Girlfriend's mum. The Graduate? Yeah, I saw that. It's a good film, wasn't it? Yeah, lads. Would you fancy an old woman? How old? Well, oh, you know, really old. At least 30. I don't know. Some of them are all right, I suppose. I know some good-looking women in the 30s. Even the 40s. Oh, well, eh? Who you got your eye on, then? Well, there's that Kim Tate up at home farm. Dolly Skilbeck. And then there's Jack's bird, Sarah. She's all right. Surprised you bothers with Paula Barker. Look, I just said they were all right. I don't want to go out with them or anything. Thank God. You know it's Paul I'm interested in. Yeah, well, you haven't even asked her out yet, have you? Well, I will. Yeah, what do you think to that one? <laughs> Rubbish. <laughs> it's not that bad. It's about the best it have got. Yeah. Well, well, seeing as you're so bothered about all these old women, why don't you send them a valentine? Not me. Why? Scared one of them might say not yeah. Not my types, that's all. Yeah. Why don't we send all those Valentine's cards on Mark's behalf? To Kim Tate and all those others. What, and sign him with his name? No, but just make sure they know who they're from. <laughs> You're the good <laughs> hey, What are you two up to? Taking a leaf out of your book. <laughs> just spreading a little happiness. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I got the wrong end of the stick this time. Well, it was rather a strange way to apologise. <laughs> All right, nothing more to be said. Apology accepted. OK, Joe. Enjoy your holiday. Bye. And look at this. It's from the Tates. Nice of them, I thought. Oh, put it 
it with the rest. Brilliant. Who are they all from? Loads of people. What's in them? Haven't looked. Are you all right, Elsa? Wonderful. Like a beached whale. Oh, come on, don't be like that. Do you want to open some of these? I don't mind. From all at Emmerdale. Well, I wonder what's in it. Sarah brought it. Oh, and the other one's from the Armstrongs. Meg brought it round. I think she said it was towels. Oh, that's really kind of them. Do you want anything? I could do with some more mints. You shouldn't keep eating those things. Anyway, I bought you a couple of packets last night. You've eaten them. You're ruining your teeth. I get free dental care for a year. Where am I going to get mints from at this time? Oh, it doesn't matter. I'm going on the bed for a bit. Can you get your own tea? You seem to have done a good job here, Archie. Well done. Hello? Hello? Hello, hello. Who is this? Henry, is that you? Yes. Who do you think it is? Well, look, get off the line, for heaven's sake. I'm trying to ring out. Oh, right. Sorry. I spoke to Joe Sugden this afternoon. It's OK. Oh? Yeah, he just wanted to apologise to me. It was all a big mistake. Oh, I see. You're rather good at that at the moment, aren't you? I'm sorry? Making mistakes. Jumping to conclusions. Joe wants to have an affair with you. Couldn't possibly be anything else. I mean, I'm surprised he could resist. And then there's me. What I tell you counts for nothing. You know best. You know that what I really want is Charlie Aindow's flaming for penny. You've seen him? Well, you made sure of it, didn't you? I just thought he had a right to know. What do you think you're playing at? I'm trying to make you see both sides of the problem. How dare you? How dare you? I confided in you because I trusted you. You know what Charlie's like. But you didn't care, did you? Dolly, I only... He had a right to know. What rights? All he wanted was a bit on the side, a bit of fun. That doesn't give him any rights over me or my body. It's his child. He doesn't want children. And he certainly doesn't want my child, and I don't want his. But it's got nothing to do with you. If I wanted to tell him, that's my decision. Maybe I would have told him, but you didn't give me a choice, did you? I'm sorry, Dolly. Sorry? Is that it? Look, Kim, he frightened me when I told him it was over. You know what sort of man he is, but you're so wrapped up in yourself, you, you just didn't stop to think. Well, did he threaten you again? No. As a matter of fact, he offered to pay for the abortion. What? Yeah. We're going to share the cost. Well, that's what you wanted, isn't it? Charlie to share the responsibility? Good evening, Wolfpack. Can I help you? Hello. Oh, Alan, it's you again. Yes, for heaven's sake, Sarah, I wish you'd stop picking up the phone. Well, I'm it, trying to make a call. It keeps ringing in here. In fact, it's driving us all round the bend. This is all your fault. Don't blame me. Well, you wired the thing up all wrong. Did I say I was a telephone engineer? You implied you could install a phone for me, yes. It's my mistake. Sorry. Mr. Turner's, to freshen his breath after a liquid lunch. <sighs> Wonderful. I thought I was going to have to borrow Seth's bike and ride into Hotton for some. <laughs> Is Elsa that desperate? Uh, if she wants them. Oh, you're looking after her really well. Not well enough, perhaps. What? Uh, I think she's going off the idea of getting married. Why? Well, we, we got a load of cards and presents today. She not even opened any. At the moment, she's feeling pretty fat and useless. She just can't summon up enthusiasm like you'd expect. I'm talking about our wedding, Mrs. Felburn. Not a trip to the dentist. You don't understand, Nick. It's because she's so near to having the baby. Well, it makes you really tired. I'm not asking her to do anything. No, I, I think she's going off the idea. Going off me. <laughs> no, lad. It's nature's way. Well, I remember when I was pregnant. But it's like you're on tranquilizers. You can't be bothered with anything. Nothing matters but protecting the baby. You'll see, as soon as the baby's here, she'll be as right as rain. 
For years, you've been talking as if your mother's a cross between George and Mae West. She's a right nice lass. None of you understand, do you? Well, there's a proof. Post office saving book. Sarah. Do you think it's Alan again? Probably. Turn that phone off, Henry. Alan! There's five hundred quid in here. Henry, oh. Archie's buying. Why on earth don't you answer the phone? You told us not to, Alan. Well, it wasn't me this time. Well, how are we supposed to know? Why didn't you answer it yourself on your new extension? Well, Archie had taken the thing to pieces and I was putting it back together again. Oh, sorry, Alan. Oh, really? Oh, wait a minute, Archie. Get him in. This is a proof, isn't it? I mean, she brought this to me. I didn't even know I had it. What did it prove, then? I don't know. That's the trouble. <sighs> I don't know what you're on about me. She's a generous woman. She's brought me more drinks today than you've brought me all year. Talk the devil and an angel appears. Hello, everybody. Hello. Hey, Archie, you don't want to leave that lying about. There's some people that can't be trusted, you know. Come on. What is it you want? Cos if it's the money, here you are, take it and go. Why should I want to take your money? That's what we've been telling him, April. Come on, Bill. Let's leave the youngsters to it. You can tell me all about yourself. Not much to tell, really. Oh, come now. What about your farm? That must have been lovely, owning your own farm. I've always wanted to live in a country, you know. <laughs> Only farm I ever owned was a one made of balsa wood when I was a kid. <laughs> Had a nice little dinky toy tractor and all. But Mr. Wilkes said you sold your farm. I don't know what you're on about, Pat. Oh, you've got the wrong Bill. You mean Bill Whiteley. I'm Bill Middleton, cowman. It's all I've ever been. So you're not the Bill that Archie lives with? No. Oh, well. Never mind. See? What did I tell you? I don't know how you can eat mints like that. It's the only pleasure I get at the moment. Well, you won upon me, then. Your mum was trying to tell me it's because you feel fat and horrible that you like this. But there's something else, isn't there, Elsa? Well, that's how you see me, is it? Fat and horrible? No, of course not. I thought that's how you saw yourself. Look, Nick, by this time next month, you'll have a wife and a baby. That's what you wanted, isn't it? Yeah. Well, then, stop nagging. <sighs> Who's the postcard from? Rachel. Wishing us all the best. Fancy her taking the time to write that. It's easy for her to be thoughtful, isn't it? She's swanning round Europe. She's been to France. Now she's in Switzerland. Could easily have been her here pregnant and me off enjoying myself. Oh, I see. That's what's brought this on, then, is it? Rachel's postcard. Well, it's not fair, is it? She has an affair with a married man, gets away scot-free. Me? When I meet one lad, get careless. A year ago, it was Rachel going through hell because her and Peter split up. We hadn't even met. Now look. Elsa, you do still want to marry me, don't you? I suppose so. Though heaven knows why you still want to marry me. 